Welcome, welcome, one and all, to episode five of Apollo for Dummies. It is November 6th, 2018 at 1556 hours Central Standard Time. I'm so glad to be here with you guys. I'm so excited for this journey that we're going on together. Hopefully you've listened to the first four episodes on your way here. We are currently on YouTube, Podbean, Spotify, and iTunes. That's right, we are maximizing our volume, if you will, and uh, making sure to spread the word on multiple platforms. So please be sure to search for us at Podbean, Spotify, or iTunes, or wherever you get your podcasts. If it's not one of those, comment down below. Tell me that you want to see me at whichever platform that you use, and I'll see if I can get on that platform as well. It's time to do some shout outs to some new subscribers. So special thanks to YouTube subscribers, Mike Meezy, G Family, and Crypto Jakes. Thank you guys so much for hitting that subscribe button. Make sure if you're here on YouTube, you hit that subscribe button, the like button, the notification bell, yada, yada, yada. Enough of that. Let's go ahead and quickly mention, before we get into the numbers here, let's quickly mention that you guys should join the Apollo Currency Facebook group. I'll have the link down below as I do in all the videos. Uh, and then we'll make sure to have you guys follow us on Twitter at Apollo for Dummies. Um, and we'll also have you follow the actual Apollo Currency guys at Apollo Currency. So please be sure to check that out. Also, there's a link to a Discord group down below. If you're looking at getting into our investment group, hit us up down there on the Discord to go ahead and join that group and we will discuss things more in depth. We'll do more talking on the subject. Let's go back over to the graph here. This is IDAX. We always have been using IDAX. There are other platforms, or excuse me, other exchanges that you can use to get your Apollo coins, but we are going to be using IDAX for the purposes of this podcast. Let's go ahead and talk about our area of operations. Remember, that is the numbers surrounding the current price, the current price being 21 Satoshis, which is 14% of a penny. It is down four and a half percent at the current moment. That could change at any moment. It could change by the end of this podcast. Um, the, the, the limits of uh, Apollo are, well, there are no limits. So this could say 20% by the end of this 10 minute, 15 minute podcast. It would not shock me. It is a very undervalued coin right now. So I do expect it to go up. Let's go ahead and look more in depth at the 24 Satoshi mark. For those of you that hear me say Satoshi and don't know what the heck I'm talking about, feel free to uh, not be the only one. There are, there are plenty of people, including me at one point, I didn't know what Satoshi's meant. So let me try to explain it to you very quickly. If you're not on YouTube, you are not able to follow our graph. So I will try to illustrate it as best I can. A Satoshi is for example, the two and four here, the 24 after the six zeros and the decimal point. At this price right here that I am looking on, the 24 Satoshis, it is point zero 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 two four value of a Bitcoin. So if it, for example, let's say that this price, just for the argument, this price of 21 Satoshis right now doesn't move all year long. So a year from today, it's still 21 Satoshis. However, let's say that Bitcoin is worth $50,000 per coin. Well, then that would mean that it's still worth 0 0.000000021 of one Bitcoin, which would be worth a lot more than 14% of a penny. So this goes off of a Bitcoin's current value. So as Bitcoin goes up, so does the price of each Satoshi. So there's 21 Satoshis essentially in this current price. I hope that did it justice. I can go more in depth if I need to on a later episode. Go ahead and comment down below if you feel I need to go more in depth with that because we are very, very new, some of us here. And this is a good place to start. It is, however, called Apollo for Dummies. But let's go ahead and talk about the 24 Satoshi mark. It is currently at 2.2 million coins for sale. In other words, 24 red. So 2.2 coins, 
or 2.2 million coins at 24 red. That is a difference of only 100,000 coins more than yesterday. So there is exactly or approximately 100,000 more coins for sale at the 24 Satoshi mark. At 23 Satoshis, uh, which is worth 15% of a penny, looks like we've got 5.8 million coins for sale. Um, when I took my notes not long ago, I had 4.8 million, so someone had... Oh, and look at that. Right as I said it, someone removed a million coins from there, so I can go back to what I was saying. 4.8 million coins, which is 2.2 million coins more. So this is more red being stacked against us and hindering us from having our price of Apollo go up. Now let's move to 22 Satoshis. Yesterday, it was in the green. We were in the green at 22. And now there's 1.4 million listed. That is a difference of 9.4 million coins. So that is, that is not a positive thing there, everyone. Uh, essentially, 10 million coins have been added for sale at that mark. Now let's go to 21, which is what our current price is. We have 10.1 million coins, or 10 million coins, for purchase at 21 Satoshis. It's a difference of 5.1 million more. Going down to 20, it is at 2.3 million, which is 8.1 less. And then at 19 Satoshis, 2.2 million, which is 2.8 million less than yesterday. So what does that all mean? It means that we're down today. It, it's not a positive day as far as uh, the area of operations. All in all, um, it looks like 3.7 million coins have been added to the red walls, and we have lost 16 million coins for purchase on the green walls. So there is some work to be done. Uh, hopefully, rather than some of us buying more coins, which I always suggest you can always get more, hopefully some of these red walls are dwindled a bit because people selling coins at this rate is just buffoonery, in my opinion. Why do I say that? Because the very last price of this, uh, the CDE, the distribution event, was a half of a penny. Percentage-wise, that's 50% of a penny, right? So we are significantly lower than that now. So everyone that purchased coins at that rate is quite far down right now. So in other words, none of that is good. But you know the numbers. We just went over them in depth, so you know that improvement is needed. So let's go ahead now and quickly go over some of the comments from yesterday's video. These comments were from uh, YouTube directly. So if you commented on Spotify, I do thank you, along with iTunes and Spotify. Did I say Spotify? Uh, Podbean. So let's go ahead and look at these YouTube comments. You make a very good point. Why on earth would I even think of selling such a valuable asset? Well, we just kind of touched on that too. Um, Apollo for the win, agreed. Star Wars World says nice. Uh, Lincoln C, I'm starting to enjoy your videos. I'd like to mention Apollo has been kicking goals all year, but is there really a need for the aliases? I've done many Apollo transactions and even sending Apollo to people who I've helped in starting up with Apollo. Not once have I decided, or no, not once have I needed to use the aliases. I'll tell you what, we will do an episode on aliases and my thoughts on aliases. I wouldn't say that they're not necessary. I do think that they have a nice little uh, spot in our space, in our Apollo space. But we'll go in more in depth of aliases. Uh, I do think that uh, we could use them, and, uh, and more so in the future, but we'll go into that later. Uh, first in, up, up, up we go. I am happy but sad, as my next purchase is midnight tomorrow. Another great show, brother. Well, thank you for the last comment there. But it looks like you might be happy because you had to wait to purchase your coins, and it's further down from what it was yesterday, so maybe you got more bang for your buck. Really appreciate you letting us know the activity for Apollo. Well, that's what I am here for. Great content. Thank you, Mac. XRP extra rice, please. Any news on OKEx exchange? Yes, we're going to talk about that in a moment. That is actually going to be our main discussion today. 
so stand by. Adam B, another thumbs up. Colin A gives a uh, you rock hand signal. Do like that. And Darren, what do you say? Well done. I bought the mill coins or so topping up after your pilot. Not a lot, but all helps. 21 Satoshis, it looks like he's purchasing. Keep up the good work. Looks like you are even money as of right now, my friend Darren. Uh, thank you, guys. It always is helpful you putting your input in here on YouTube because, you know, I like to go over those in our videos. Now let's go ahead and uh, before we talk about OKEx and other breaking news, let me do this. We're going to go over to ApolloCurrency.com slash store, uh, and I'm going to show you guys some pretty cool new accessories uh, that I didn't know you could see if you clicked on it. Um, I thought these were the only things available, and apparently if you just click anywhere in this area, it lets you shop for more stuff, and I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to buy two limited edition Apollo coins. One of them will be for me, because I'm greedy like that, but the other one will be for one of you. So I'll be ordering two of these coins, and one of you, one of you lucky subscribers out there, will win the other coin. We'll do this uh, towards the beginning of December. We'll draw the winner then. So in order to enter to win, all you have to do is be a subscriber and a follower of us on the Twitter. Remember, Twitter, Apollo for Dummies. Follow us there, be a subscriber on the YouTube, and you're entered to win a free Apollo coin. Limited edition Apollo coin. That is right. Pretty sweet. Let's zoom in on that. I love it. All right. So now let's talk about some news. Uh, I wish I could have like a, oh, look at that. We just went up in price. That's, we'll, we'll go over that at the end. Let's go ahead and open up Telegram. We're going to go ahead and look at the Apollo announcements. That's what we're going to go over. And then we're going to talk about OKEx or OKX, however you want to say it. So uh, midday yesterday, the 15th, the Nebula trading contest started. That's 1 million price pool, and that is a trade contest based off of volume. Uh, I will put the link down in the description in YouTube, and you can follow that for the rules of that giveaway. Uh, you might as well check it out. If you're stubborn like me and only will use IDAX because you like to stick with what you know, by all means, I don't blame you for it because that's kind of how I am. But hey, you can't really turn down a free giveaway entry. Well, I guess it's not free. You do have to trade on that one. But like I said, the, the uh, link will be down below on the YouTube. Uh, Medium put out this article here, uh, Crypto Adoption with Physical Locations. It mentions, I already read the article. Basically, I'll give you a bullet point. It mentions Apollo and their ATM plan. We have talked about this um, quite a bit in the last couple episodes. They want to put physical ATM locations in major cities around the world, and it is a super great idea, and I hope that it translates to the price going up, because that's what we all really want in the long run, right? But if, uh, you know, if people don't have to have a bank account, they don't have to you know, get on an exchange and all this extra stuff, it'd be so nice, because the, the normal you know, person, the normal human being, doesn't know a lot about cryptocurrency, exchanges, KYC, all that stuff. You know, they just don't have the knowledge. I mean, sure, that's why we're here to spread the word. That's what this podcast is for. That's what the community is for. But could you imagine being able to walk by this in Vegas? You're in Vegas and you walk by this ATM looking touchscreen thing and you can buy a cryptocurrency. Oh man, I've heard of Bitcoin before. Look at the price of this. And then you know, there's probably some blips of news on there you can read, some information on there, you know, some headlines. Here's a headline. Uh, the Apollo Currency Foundation and team care about their community. Uh, I mean, they work their butts off getting coins back from someone that had lost their coins from a phishing scam. I mean, they really care about us. And I don't want to jump to another story here, but I just want to say that if the normal person saw what Apollo was, what it can do, and the idea behind it, and that you don't have to have a bank and all that other stuff, I think it would grow exponentially. Uh, the next thing down here is Apollo Corner Live. So I quickly stopped talking about the whole uh, the scamming thing, the phishing scam, because I want you guys to check out this video by Apollo Corner Live. It goes in-depth 
even with the individual that had his coins taken uh, and how he got them back. It's a really great watch. I watched it today. The link will be down below on the YouTube. So check out that link. Give them a view. Give them a subscribe. And all in all, just, just know the story. And, and it will really uh, reiterate why you are a part of this great community and great coin. All right, time to talk about OKEx or OKX Exchange. Got a little bit more up-to-date news. A lot of people are wondering, when are we going to get listed? Did we win the vote? Uh, how long is it going to take? Uh, you know, these questions are all completely understandable. Uh, first, I'll tell you that we got third place in the, in the vote to get listed on OKX. All right, we got third place. OKX did announce that the top three winners or the winner in the second or in the first and second runner up would all be listed. Those are facts. No date has been given and Apollo has reached out to them, but still no date is given. That is a fact. Uh, they look uh, at trade volume and a lot of other stuff that have to do with the coin. So they do their due diligence in listing coins because they want to avoid from delisting coins. And let me tell you, that is really important. We do not want to go on an any exchange, no, no matter how big or small the exchange is. And for those of you dummies out there, exchanges is what you use to buy and sell your crypto coins. Nobody wants Apollo to get put on OKX and then have it delisted. That is a very, very bad thing for any cryptocurrency. It is a negative thing that will really cause a lot of FUD. It will cause a lot of pain and heartache, I assure you. So they are taking their time. OKX is taking their time. They're making sure that Apollo is the is the right type of coin for their exchange and that we have enough volume and and you know they're they're gonna look within everything. Okay, and, and my guess, and this is 100% a guess, I'm thinking 2019, uh, which really, you know, a month and three weeks away from, from 2019. So it's really not that far away. But again, just a guess. Uh, I hope you guys have the patience to understand that this is not any kind of scheme of getting rich. Okay, we are here for the long haul. At least you should be. If you're not, to each his own not going to bash you for it. But I assure you, I have wallets with coins in them for my kids. Okay, because one day they're going to really appreciate this coin. You know, I'm not saying in order to see profit, you have to wait 20 years. I'm just saying that it's going to be much better off in due time. So let's do that price update real quick. That is all the breaking news, I do believe. Uh, here real quick, you can pause. If you're on YouTube, you can pause it and look at the community competition results. Uh, for those of you not on YouTube, you can go to Telegram and look at the winners first through fifth place. It looks like there is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred thousand Apollo handed out to the top five places. So pretty cool there. Um, make sure I didn't miss anything else. Uh, remember the links to Apollo Corner Live, the Medium article, and the Nebula rules of that contest will all be down below on the YouTube. Can't guarantee the links will be there on any other platform. So go ahead and come over to subscribe on YouTube and have your name read off at the beginning of the next episode for being a new subscriber. Thank you guys for being here. The update in price, as briefly mentioned, we're, we're at 0% on the day, and that was because someone about eight minutes ago or so purchased 17,000 coins at 22 Satoshis. Um, so got one and a half million coins listed at 22 Satoshis. And my advice to you, if you are trying to buy some coins right now, is this, pretty simple. If you put your coins on this 21 Satoshi wall, it's gonna have to sell 10 million coins before it gets to your turn. I would get them at 22 Satoshis before that wall is gone. Thank you guys so much for being here. So appreciated by me and everyone involved in this podcast. And hey, we got a new record. Longest podcast episode yet. Episode 5 is is uh, hopefully a good one. And I know that there's some special Apollo team members listening to this episode. Thank you guys for spending your time. Guys and gals for spending your time here. 
uh, to check out the podcast. Thank you, and as always, let's